Money is useless until it is used. I did not know this. I thought money was valuable. I thought, I was taught that money was security. That's why I started a retirement account. I had a retirement account when I was 28 years old. I invested money in a 401k. That's the terminology, as you know. I can get this money when I'm 65 or something. Every year I put that money in that retirement account because I was taught that money was security. Money has never made me more secure. I end up forgetting it's even over there. I go years without remembering, oh, I got that money over there. You know, I wasn't even thinking about it. I don't know what it's invested in. Uh, put it in mutual funds. I don't know what the mutual funds are. I have no passion or connection to any of the companies. It was just about money. It's like this money just sits here. What is it? It's just pieces of paper. Somebody decided on the colors, the values. Somebody put a little stamp on it. A lot of work went into like make, making me believe this is somehow valuable. Today, I just know that like, man, until this starts moving around, it's not valuable. People are way more valuable. It just shows you how little people have really thought about money. $80 billion a year is spent in America on lottery tickets. Nobody spends anything on friends. $80 billion, that's more money than Starbucks, Burger King, Taco Bell, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. I wasn't thinking big enough. I was thinking that if I save my money, that if I just save the pennies, you know, save the money, pay attention to the money, then clip the coupons, do everything on the cheap, right? Buy everything on sale, buy low and sell high. That whole, all that old adage of our parents. If I do that, then I'll be better off, right? Rather than, why do I learn a skill? Why do I promote myself? People spend almost nothing to promote themselves. If I don't promote myself, I can't get money anyway. Because, you know, we're told not to. Don't toot your own horn. Be seen and not heard. Don't get so much attention. We're told this as little kids. Women have it worse than men. Don't show off. Don't be a braggart. Don't talk about yourself. Fly under the radar. If you, if you get too big, you're gonna get attacked. Uh, nobody's telling us, get so big that no attack can bother you. If I die today, Elena and the kids will not have to worry about money. They will not, in, in, in 2008, all I had to worry about was money. I had a $60 million lawsuit hit me. I, I, did, I thought Lehman was enough. The one industry that I was a star in got cut in half. Diamonds are made from pressure and wake up calls. So not all coal becomes a diamond. What data do you have that is holding you back from becoming who you could be? What have you been operating with? What calculations have you been doing that's getting you the wrong answer? I'm not stupid and I'm not lazy, but I must have had a calculation, you know, that allowed me to come up with the wrong answer. So I started looking at what my, calc my entries were and my entries were, hey, don't, don't get too much attention, you know? And then I was like, oh man, who, who's getting it? Who's doing well? Barclays is doing well. Goldman's doing well. Warren's doing well. Warren's on TV every day. I'm like, dude, I need to be on TV. You shouldn't put money in a house. You should put money in your brand. You should put money in the marketing. You should promote yourself, not put money in where you and the kids live. Because it's dead money. I mean, a house can't make you money. A house does not make you money. The only reason people think a house makes the money is they're comparing it to if I rent, that costs me money. But if you need to go to a hospital, you don't buy the hospital. You rent a bed to get out of there as fast as you can. If you go on a trip, you go to America and you want to go to Disneyland, you don't buy the hotel. You rent a room. And nobody thinks bad, poorly of that. They're like, yeah, I'm going to go there, use the place and get out. That's what you should be doing with your living. Find a place where you can rent. Rent, rent, pay rent monthly. Don't own the house and take all the money that you would have put in that house purchase, down payment, extra money, fixing it up. Use all that money to improve your business and yourself so that you can get more money. So I see so many people here like, I'm gonna invest 300,000 pounds in a house to hopefully make $30,000, 30,000 pounds. I'm gonna buy it for 300, I'll, maybe I'll sell it for 600,000. I'll double my money. Fixed in one place, by the way, where no money comes to you. Money does not go to homes. Warren Buffett and Bill Gates do not talk about the home they live in. They talk about the places they're going to. They go meet money, they go meet wealth, they go meet connections. Banks are great promoters. 
They print money. Banks are capitalists. They're not entrepreneurs. There is no product to sell. What happens with the banker is the banker's like, hey, we have all this money. We need to get the money to people. And they'll pay us to let them have money. Everybody deserves a place to live. And another guy's having another sip and he's like, no, no, no. It's a dream. This is the dream. In America, it's the American dream. Everyone deserves a place to live. And other people say, oh, this is a way to make money. It's not a way to make money. It's a way to bank to make money. Banks have made more money off of homes than anybody in the game. Most people can't keep it. Almost everybody can get it. Most people cannot keep it. And almost no one can multiply it. So the game is, how do I get it? How do I keep it? How do I fortify it? How do I support it? And there's a lot about how do you keep making this thing bigger and bigger and protecting it? Again, a lot of people can get it, but can you keep it? And then can you make it bigger? That means people, I need good people. I need more ideas. I need more production. I need to not get complacent. That's who I study today. I study people that are multiplying what they've already created. Not talking about what they did, and now they're not doing it anymore. Everybody should look for people that have accumulated these kinds of things. Well, that's not what we're told in society. This is who people should study. People that have gone out, started with a little bit or nothing, had an idea, accumulated something, and then lived it out for 35 years. When you're asking me about the billion dollars right now, I'm like, dude, I'm not even thinking about a billion dollars anymore. I'm thinking about how do I build a $10 billion fund? The moment you start thinking like that, it's like buying a yellow Volkswagen, right? You've never seen one before, and then you're like, I'm gonna get a yellow one. And then all of a sudden you see them everywhere. It's a raising of awareness. It strips off this, this blindness that we have. And then I can see again, I'm like, God, how many $10 billion companies are there? Who's done this? How would it be done? Is that money available? If you can like open your eyes up and say, hey, I'm showing up every day, I'm not gonna quit. You cross your fingers. If you don't quit, you, you won't fail.